On August 1st, the US debt was downgraded to AA plus from AAA by Fitch Racings. In Fitch's view, there has been a steady deterioration in the standards of governance over the last 20 years, including on fiscal and debt matters. In 2012, the legendary US Senator, the late Dr. Tom Coburn, wrote the book The Debt Bomb. In a nation whose debt has outgrown the size of its entire economy, the greatest threat comes not from any foreign force, but from Washington politicians who refuse to relinquish the intoxicating power to borrow and spend. Our national debt has exploded under each president and congress since 1980. In 1980, the national debt was $908 billion and $2.6 trillion when Reagan left office in 1988. Under four years of Bush, the debt rose to $4 trillion and then to $5.7 trillion under the eight years of Clinton. With W. Bush over two terms, the debt rose to $10 trillion and then $19.6 trillion after eight years under Obama. When Trump left office after one term, the debt was $27.8 trillion. Today, after two years under Biden, our national debt pushed $32.5 trillion. When the federal government adds to the national debt by spending more money than it takes in, it devalues the dollar. For example, because of inflation, you need over $7 a day for the equivalent spending power of $1 in 1972. Unfortunately, our federal government spending is not slowing down. Our national debt will exceed 225% of the GDP by 2050. On the world stage, the Chinese are taking every step to undermine the US as the world's reserve currency. These threats are not a new phenomenon. However, as the Fitch downgrade of the US debt shows, American policymakers are not taking our fiscal condition seriously. In 1980, the US national debt was less than $1 trillion, and today, the national debt tops $32.5 trillion. America needs a bold plan to stop Washington from bankrupting the country. Unfortunately, the long-term trend is aggressively moving in the wrong direction.